Hi, Yarnabees. How you doing? Good grief. I'm falling apart here. <laughs> it's Sandy. Hi. Uh, I just wanted to quickly come on and show you a couple of things that I have been doing and to say hi. <laughs> so, um, I, let me see, what should I start with? Um, as you know, I have fallen off the wagon or fallen on it, one or the other, of doing the plushy, amigurumi, whatever you want to call it. And I decided that I was going to dive a little deeper into it and see what I come out with. <laughs> so I went down the rabbit hole and I came out with a rabbit. <laughs> now his ears are kind of supposed to be up here, but <laughs> I kind of messed it up a little bit. <laughs> But yeah, isn't he cute? She, it, I don't know. So yeah, I um, I wanted to make a bigger one, but it ended up coming out like this. So yeah. So I, I George kind of laughed at me and says, eh, "Aren't the ears supposed to be up here?" And I'm like, "Shut up! Don't tell. It. Just don't even." <laughs> the fact that I actually made it was a big accomplishment for me. <laughs> So, but I was really surprised, like this kind of um, body is, there's a lot of different amigurumis with this same body. So I thought, huh, I'm going to look a little more into this. I mean, there's the Among Us that I was thinking about doing. Um, there's another one uh, like this, except it's a cow. Um, but yeah, I thought, eh, I'm going to maybe try this again and do a few different types right because it was pretty easy e even for me i mean if i could do it anybody can do it uh so yeah so that's my my rabbit <laughs> my feeble attempt at a rabbit but i really like the the way that this body is right it's it's pretty simple to do um, and it's pretty versatile. So yay. So yeah, so that's one thing that I accomplished. One of the other things I accomplished is this. Um, I did this with the I Love This Yarn Moody Mosaic, my favorite. And I did a, ha a uh, slouchy hat to go with it. Oops. Oh, she's looking a little drunk. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, anyway. <clears throat> um, yeah. So I was quite happy with the way this turned out. And it took me a while to do it. it it's one of those projects, you know, you do it with a 5 millimeter or 5.5 millimeter hook and it just takes so long. <laughs> and it's, I was so glad when it was finished. I really was. Um, I'll see if I can get a picture of me wearing it and I'll put it in here if, if I can get that done. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I, I just love the color. I love the color. It's so pretty. And there's two different ways that you can wear it so this was a bag a day pattern i believe i think yes uh, i will leave the link down below if you would like to try it out okay the other thing that i made and i'm in the process of making is a triangle vest shawl vest shawl i think it's called uh where's the top <clears throat> nope that's not it so there's the armholes i'm not near done yet um but this yarn uh, hopefully you can see the sparkle in this yarn it's so pretty this is the yarn that Sandy from Left is Right Crochet sent me. And it's called Lion Brand, Lion Brand Shimmery 
you can't get this anymore. Unfortunately, this is what it looks like all caked up. And look at, I got my nails done and it actually matches. You got to love it when your nails match your project. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> I totally did that by accident. Like it, yeah. But yeah. Oh, there you can see the sparkle on the yarn now. So absolutely love this yarn. It's called Supernova. Uh, it's a bulky five. I would love to find something that is similar to this. I don't shop at the Lion Brown website. I just find their stuff is so expensive, you know, but uh, I'm, I'm loving the way this is turning out. I've used, so far I've used three skeins um, and I've got quite a bit more to go. Um, this is my fourth skein that's all I had so I think what I'm going to end up doing is maybe doing the rest in black so that the the peak at the bottom it's got a black border that's what I'm thinking so yeah but I just I love the way it's turning out I just I had to laugh when I came home after getting my nails done I sat down I started crocheting and went Hey, <laughs> my nails are the same color as my project. Total fluke. But, uh, <clears throat> but yeah, I, um, I'm going to get that. And this is another project. You know, you use a 5.5 millimeter hook and it takes forever. This, pro this pattern is a fiber spider pattern. I will link, leave that link down below as well. <clears throat> um, what else? Oh, this is, I showed you this before. It's the chunk sweater or chunky or whatever the heck you call it. Not chunky, it's chunky uh, sweater that I did. Um, I'm thinking about doing a tutorial on it. Uh, if you guys are interested, let me know. This was done with a bulky six, I believe it was. So I think, I don't know. I don't think I have any more bulky six. Oh, maybe I do. But um, yeah, so I'm thinking about doing that. It's a kind of a cropped uh, sweater, but you can make it as long as you want. Another thing that I made was, whoops, it's going to be kind of hard to show this here. Oh, is that the right way? No, that's the wrong way. This is Everybody seems to be doing this now. It's the Daphne Afghan. Let's see if I stand up. It's, <laughs> it's big. <laughs> but yeah, it's the Daphne Afghan. Isn't that pretty? And I used, what I used was the I Love This yarn that um, was sent by Petra from Petra's Happy Place. And uh, this was the, what's it called? Black Blue or something. Uh, why is my camera going in and out like that? It doesn't usually do that. So anyways, and then I just used just um, Bernat Premium in black for the, the black in between. But I really like the way it turned out. I've been wanting to do this blanket for a while. Uh, it's the sewing it together I didn't wasn't happy doing, but um, <laughs> and the static in this thing it's crazy. But uh, I that's only because we didn't use um, a what do you call it static thing. <laughs> We got those those uh, rubber balls that you put in the um, dryer, but that only stops it from getting all bunched up in all the other clothes. It doesn't really do anything for the static. So, but yeah, I, I really love the colors. Just beautiful. 
So I may have to get some more of that yarn. Yes. Mm -hmm. Look at how pale I am. Like what happened? I don't, I don't know. I had a filter on to make me look a little bit more. I've got this bright light shining in, so it's really washing me out. So I look very ghostly. <laughs> anyway, uh, big news. I am going on a yarn ban. Yes. Um, I have to. I absolutely have to go on a yarn ban because I've got so much yarn that it's crowding in and I, I just have to do something about it. Uh, I, I was watching Dana from Wonderless Crochet and um, she's doing something called Scorched Earth and that's pretty much what it is. You're pretty much kind of on a yarn ban and you have to use up your yarn in a year. Well, there is no way in hell I'm going to be able to use up all this yarn in a year. But I'm going to try. <laughs> so no yarn hauls for me. Um, but I'm hoping to get a lot of finished products, projects done. Because, uh, yeah, it's... It, my friend Helen came over yesterday and she bought one of my sister's bags and she came in. She goes, I have to see your yarn room. Okay. <laughs> so she came in here and went, oh, wow. And I was like, yeah, I have a little bit of a problem. <laughs> I am like the epitome of a yarnaholic, you know, and I'm actually kind of glad that Dana came up with the scorched earth idea because it needs to be done. It really does. And I'm starting to notice a lot of um, yarn tubers are, look at that, I even used her tagline. Oops, sorry, Dana. <laughs> uh, I'm starting to see a lot of us are doing the, I don't know if it's the spring cleaning thing or what it is, but we are starting to, um, you know, get, use up the yarn that we have. We're starting to organize our yarn. We're, you know, doing all the, all the things. <laughs> so I think I, I have to get on that bandwagon and I have to do it as well because I am drowning in yarn. My 2000, um, 2000 subscriber, um, uh, anniversary. What do you call that? Uh, milestone is coming up pretty fast. So um, I'm thinking I'm going to have to do a big giveaway. And maybe I'll have a bunch of yarn in it. So if you know anybody that wants to subscribe to my channel uh, and get in on the fun, send them on over. Because <laughs> it's you know, I mean, anybody that has gotten my giveaways and stuff like that, they know that I don't ch chintz out, right? Like I, I do, I do it right. So it costs me a fortune to do it, but I love doing it. And I haven't done a giveaway in a long time. So I think it's time. <sighs> I think it's time. But only in, only once I hit that 2000 milestone. And also, let me know down below if, you know, in that giveaway, if you would like to see, um, see something in there that I've made, you know, if you would like to have something made by me, uh, let me know. I think that would be kind of cool to do. So, okay, guys, that's all I had to show you. Um, but thanks for joining me and leave your comments down below. And I will talk to you later. I love you all. Bye.